Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 54 Quarterfinal, the last ever real chalice. We've got Andri with Nurgle, um, I Ravel with Chorfs, Battle of the Bangers, <laughs> pretty <laughs> glorious. In, and speaking of bangers, in the booth with me is Daedalquist, hello! Hello! <laughs> I finally joined the banging way of life. <laughs> it took me three years of blood bowling and here I am. Good Lord, Lord, I love dwarves. <laughs> <laughs> Which means I hate these two teams still um, because they have claws. Mm. Do you know what? Uh, do you know what? Um, Andre could have done here, which would have been very nice, would be to have got this claw pommer forward, and then he could have chained him yeah. forward to hit the this guy. It would have been really nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's something I like to do with quick snaps, but. Uh, you know, that's nice blocks. Yeah, yeah, that's mm. it's pretty good on her. Mm. <laughs> uh, they got me too much at the same Oh, maybe he couldn't job. actually. He's got stand firm. Oh no, no, it's the it's the beast. I thought it was a gun to stand beast. firm. Oh, goblin! I was like, what? <laughs> on the line of scrimmage. <laughs> really gonna protect that dirty play wrestler. <laughs> 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 I was like, oh, never mind, he couldn't. Oh, yeah, he totally could. Well, one cast instantly. Yeah, Keep it's, it's the... weird that it didn't um, switch the call bomber. Um, and not hmm. a fan either. Yeah, really weird. I mean, if you have pylon, let's put pylon. Like, I didn't use it. Extensively in my first game, but that's because like his only way out to winning the first game was to follow me <laughs> And That's not really the case where like a great follow would have been put in here, right? So Because mm. you had it protected um, so yeah, I, I mean he could have gotten a two assist foul, I guess Yeah, I don't know. I think it's it's just not. They should have. Yeah, I don't know who the hell William Hung is. Has he done a cover of it? But um, no, that would be a, that. Is that is a good idea though? Squirrel dude, that is a good idea. Hopefully, does it? And uh, hello, Ham. No, I don't think I'll get the AW the rest of the game. It, it looks not good. It doesn't look good. Like it looks like the graphics wise. Might be good gameplay, but the graphics don't look good, and obviously already have all of the JFW created already. So, yeah, doing that I again is like at least fifty hours of work. Oh yeah, more. <laughs> so, so, like that's a lot of hours glorious. for someone that doesn't work. No, I won't <laughs> give in until I'm victorious. I know, because like defend. just the sound of putting fifty defend. hours mm -hmm. of work is rowdy. You want to go to bed? <laughs> <laughs> Rowdy, glorious, thank you very much, Sambo Simon, aka Martin Septon. Thank you very much, staying fantastic. Hopefully, you've learned your lesson, and next time you'll name all of your players Jimmy Fantastic so that you won't get Lords Kaz who aren't called Jimmy Fantastic. Well, <laughs> <laughs> not very good at re recovering from chaos, that, that was the bad thing. <laughs> don't, don't spin into a locker dog. That's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's pretty important. That's a little bit of a dicing. So. Oh, this is a. It's not that good a foul. Be a lot better in Blood Bowl 3 this foul. But, um... I think, yeah. I mean, and this is. I'm not sure uh, I wasn't paying attention, so. Like, couldn't he have gone around uh, and gotten. Like, if he'd moved. If he'd put the ball in somewhere else, um, the, the ball to the left. Um, he could have gotten three assist ball and tagged the uh, the guard. Um, I don't think he had the movement there. to get around to do that. To um, be honest. Maybe not. I don't think so. Maybe he could have got where this hobgoblin is, you know, like and exposed him to danger. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Plus, like the bull here is pretty good, right? Because he's got the guard there, so he, he's he's protected, like, and he's threatening him with tackle. Like, it's a pretty good spot for the bull. Yeah. 
Oh, look at Samuel Simon. What what an absolute legend of a chat member. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it was, a, it was a great effort, Samuel Simon. One day, one day you'll improve. One day you'll improve and have everybody call Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, really, getting half your team removed by turn four was not the right play. No, no, no that wasn't good. <laughs> well, there's not a lot of attrition on either side, so I don't know what <clears throat> what they're doing. No. Oh, there you go, as a cast. Ah, uh, yeah. Sloth the uh, muck. <laughs> <laughs> just gotta read reroll though. Mm. Yeah, the cl the claw pommer, this claw pommer is exposed. I mean, the good thing about having two is that you can, like, kind of expose one. It's not that bad, but, uh, yeah, he was really exposed, wasn't he? After all that, after all the talk about the foul, the claw pommer was, yeah. Was... Well, now he's protected him. Yeah. Oh, oh, lovely dodge out. Beautiful. <coughs> critical, critical dodge out, wasn't it? Yeah, it is pretty bad. Then yeah, I, I definitely didn't intend to be on you at the end. Like, it, I was just exhausted and just stopped paying attention for a second and nearly caused me you. I'm sorry, Simon. I really tried. I really, really tried. <laughs> Just a rookie, yeah, a rookie pest. Oof. There was a lot on that hit, wasn't there? He kind of had to be a pal, but he gets the pal. Look a dog. Hey, Beard. This is not him speaking. Oh, Beard. <coughs> Beard. I mean, I don't know where the nerdlings went, but suddenly, like, they're all spread out in a weird way. Yeah, like looks like they're gonna have to score early. I um, think one. Uh, well, the beast was Kaz, wasn't he? Yeah, the beast was Kaz. It, it's just like that one removal shouldn't like force you to like stretch your team like this. I'm not sure. Oh, another one gone. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna have to score early, doesn't it? I think I mean, this was I a turn like, earlier. There, there is a lot of strength removed um, in in a warrior and uh, and a beast. Mm. I thought it was a turn too early. I, I liked yeah. I like yeah. holding up the warrior for another turn and then you know then going away the next turn. But uh, I guess this forces the score a bit more. Is it, I think that. Uh, when he stretches like this, like going for that space because he anticipates his team getting crushed. <laughs> um, like that sort of makes it worse and makes his team more able to get crushed because he's not protecting the weaker players, right? Um, um, or the ball, so, uh, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> sort of forcing himself into it. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough, Samuels. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, the, the the game gets stretched, doesn't it? Like it, that's the thing with claw pom games. Like it, you end up with like seven aside, and then when two of them are yeah. bulls, like you know you're gonna have to score early. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, that, and, and that's why I guess like he wanted the early space uh, because he re recognized that the bulls would catch up. But that's what that's what I meant, right? When when he does like stretch his team like that, he's not getting counter hits in. He's not, and he's just exposing like his players to claw bomb, um, like freely. Um, so 
Yeah, not sure. I, th I think he would have waited one more turn um, and not get what as punished for it as he did, but then, like, obviously, score um, equity drops quite drastically. Uh, and it's just dice as well, isn't it? You can't, yeah. you know, you can't yeah, stop yeah, the call upon blitzes, whatever you do. So, like, yeah. whatever happens, you're going to take removals. Like, just random. It. It's yeah. just random. And he, he has been lucky, right, in that regard. Like, he's been on the receiving end. Uh, in terms of where the call upon where the where the fouling is gone, especially right. Mm. I mean, he didn't. He couldn't pile on with one of them dog to the dogs. It was a cast. But um, yeah. <laughs> like the claw bomber did block, but he made an instant cast, and the other claw bomber didn't activate at all. Yeah, he, Andre did play it somewhat timidly, and it's true. Didn't use two panning on it. Yeah, okay, but. One piling on he didn't use. <laughs> didn't use both. You could have said he didn't there, use there both. There are no rerolls prior of us. Like, they, it's not an automatic score by any means. No, it's like, not. It's, it's, it's really not. And then the, the kick is deep as well, which is great for Andre. Mm. Oh, yeah, this is not an auto score at all. In fact, I'd be going for the pickup before the LOS blocks in the Blitz. So 100% I would be going for the pickup before yeah, the Blitz. With no re-roll, I might... Uh... Not sure, though. Like, cause, like if, if you're playing for the second half, like, still, um, you want to, to maximize attrition, right? So I'm not... I want the ball out. <laughs> yeah. if, if, you, if you score here, you, you win, right? Like, that's basically it, so... I want the ball in hand. I want maximum chances for getting the ball I mean, in hand. Not necessarily, but like, there's no permanent attrition on the Nurgle team. Um, no, but you've, you you've should you should have confidence in yourself to score on your drive, right? And you should feel like you know. If you yeah, but we just score. said, like in a call on matchup, like things can just as quickly turn the other way, right? They um, can, they like... can, they can. But I would be thinking. If, if, you know, I always... Yeah, you're in a great spot, obviously, for scoring here. Scoring here is the part of it, right? I agree. Yeah. But... <clears throat> Things can like, change. If you, you're, if you're turning a 1 in 36 into a 1 in 9, right? So I'm not necessarily, like, uh, against the, um, the... The punching first. I'm not I'm not saying it's right. I'm just saying I'm, I'm, I'm unsure. Yeah. No, I mean I'm unsure, but I would I would just definitely do it because I'd be scared with no rerolls. That's the thing. Yeah. I would I would I would take you know I want maximum chance of picking up the ball, even if it's not the maximum yeah, equity. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's it's the ma it's the best chance of picking up the ball because like you can't fail anything else first, right? That yeah. forces you to not, to lose the chance of picking the ball up. But so so yeah, I agree <clears throat> in that regard. Sloth Demuk, Kazd again. <laughs> Regens <doesn't> again. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's desperate to stay alive, but he doesn't want to be on the pitch. Oof. <laughs> 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 Rough I mean, it's not like he has another skill on it that takes precedent over block, right? It, he just has not roll a double. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah, you gotta roll a double for block. <laughs> oh, um, pushes, re rolled into pushes, dice. Yeah, with the with the Yeah, he moves seven, all right. He's moved seven. Oh, so. yeah. I mean, he's still in range, right? But he has to do the GFI now. So. Wait, mm. did Andre start this drive with two rerolls? He no, did, he yeah. He what? Did. God. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Wow, well, this can go very badly for Andre right now. Yeah. 
claw pommer getting claw pommed and getting through oh wow him killed yeah, I think, uh... no regen oh he did oh I wouldn't have done that I wouldn't have done that I would have gone for the greedier hit on him so I could get hit the guard in and claw palm his claw palm like a million percent a million percent dadel a million percent uh, yeah, no, I, I agree with you I, I like uh, that thing okay the bull the bull up's pretty decent to be fair but then it could have won in 36 yeah I guess you can't no, you need the player as well, right? Um, standing up for uh, ball protection. Um... Oof. Um. What? It's pretty hideous, isn't it, to leave the three plus on after all that? Oh, there you go. Three plus two D, so about about thirty three percent to get it, isn't it? Ish. As soon as you don't take the two two two. Oh no, yeah, because you don't need assists. So. Mm. Can chain him forward now. Yeah, he can. I guess he can't do it with two. Well, he's not even gonna try. What? He's not even gonna try. Well, he still could try, I think. But I guess uh... he's not going to. Yeah, no, no. Like he definitely he's so good at like it yeah, was so yeah. easy to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's that's definitely a mistake. Okay. Yeah, indeed, dog the dog. Yeah. I mean that's that that's definitely like something that you just miss because you're so like in your head about what the game plan is. Like whoever loses the attrition war likely loses the game, right? And right now he's winning the attrition war and he's like getting the counter score, so like <clears throat> he's just like relaxing that part of your brain, uh, like of how do, uh, how does it maximize the the score? Um, so yeah, he's just gone full banger, basically, is what he's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's feeling a little bit Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not, it's not that uh, far far away from Arnold to to reach for that spot, right? <laughs> Full banger, like he's played. What I, I don't know how many seasons of yeah, the Chaos Dwarves, like <laughs> no sort of bang bang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty awful. Oh, he did it. Yes, indeed. But, I mean, Andre had two. Uh, is that two warriors that stayed out to under two KOs? Like the yeah. round ring? So, yeah, like, pretty unlucky. It's just, it's just fucked, right? Um, yeah, pretty it much. Have, Clo it doesn't both have both core Yeah. Both core Oh, no, yeah. Two warriors. <laughs> like, two, so it is two warriors because one's yeah. dead. And then, uh, so he's two warriors down and he's both core pommers down. So yeah, he's yeah. fucked. Don't say it's over, as Elliot would say, but be totally wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this is absolutely over unless, yeah. like, I Revel does something really incredibly stupid. Yeah, you know, it, it basically if... has to be both that and Andrew gets t lucky on top of it because only I Revel only being stupid like isn't enough. Like, just look at my games, right? <laughs> I've done so many stupid things, but like my team has been so much better in the matchup that it's just carried. And this is what we're gonna see here, right? It's gonna carry by by just having the infinitely better team on the pitch. Mm, there's only one person that could throw this match, <laughs> but but Nolly <laughs> isn't in it. So. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> See? The memes are getting more boring because they're old. <laughs> it's going the other way around. No Nolly hate, it's just fun. Because yeah. Nolly's throwing a bunch of games. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, basically. Like literally throwing two of them in Chalice to <laughs> yeah, yeah, they make fun of themselves about it, you know. Like that's the thing. It yeah, it's not just mean spirited, piss taking. It's just banter, isn't it? <laughs> Fair it's enough, just, dog. Fair it's enough. Just banter. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. No, the, the, the claw might, he's down. <laughs> He'll really want to foul him next turn, won't he? Like, you want, you want these next two turns to be setting up that foul yeah. because he, then he's, he's lost, he's down both claw bombers and now he can be down claw mighty as well. <laughs> and now it's just keep your team alive for the next round as well. It looks like he's not, looks like he wants to foul the beast. I think this is a mistake. I think it's much better to try and crack the other side and foul the claw mighty. Oh, was that was that was that a four plus to stop the score last half? Uh, maybe. Still, gets a bull tuddy. What's he on? Seventy three. Oh, and that gets him to seventy six. Perfect. Oh, perfect. Oh, I will be very very happy right now. Well, not right now. When this was played right now. <laughs> at this point, at some point in the past. <laughs> He'll have been really happy. <laughs> I can remember a time in the past where where I was happy. Like, I can't remember the feeling, but I can remember that there was a time. Yeah. Mm, you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm really not, because I'm dreaming about it every day. <laughs> it's nightmares. <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> oh, wow. Rolls a pal. I've, I've genuinely lost interest in this game. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm, I really much preferred my plan of get over here and then foul this guy next to him. I guess just running away from him is okay, but he might pick somebody off with Claw Mighty, might he? So. I really did like, I really did prefer. I mean, he's, it's 1-1 one, one, Team Man Taylor, so he's kind of got the score. How oh, do you mean like stall it till turn, I mean obviously he'll stall it out. Turn eight, yeah. But I mean, he can't not score and risk losing in overtime, right? He's got to score, I think. I don't think he should space cadet it. I think he has to score. <laughs> well, if he was if he was winning one nil. He could just not score, right? And then win 1 0 to, to not allow the claw pump hits. That's but, all um, my which would, but even then, I'd still probably score on this guy to get him to 76. No, deadly. Not scoring is my favorite way of winning. <laughs> Oof. Imagine he had mm. Imagine he being fouled out last turn. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Yeah, that's the thing. When you factor in, when you factor in the ball being on seventy-three and having the ball, you've, you've got to score on the ball.
Hate not properly targeting the claw might get every opportunity. <laughs> Maybe it's just because you know I'm not in the match, and as a neutral observer, this obviously looks totally, totally done. He's got no chance, but maybe he's thinking, "Oh, I've got to, got to not throw the match," and you know, play properly. But playing properly is lame when you can just be casting his one coin that he's got left. <laughs> yep. In a match you've already won to make sure you don't take Randor or Kaz. Well, not to make sure, but do the best you can. Obviously, rookie Pestigo just Randor gets a Kaz. Man, my error BB game was so funny the other day. <laughs> Play Crow Dog and he did a dog to the dog style one turn. <laughs> he knocked his guy back into his own half and then he hit my blitz who had sidestep and I'm like, I got further I got closer than you did. <laughs> I crack myself up. <laughs> so good. It was so good. Alright, now we've gone full banger. Abandoned ball protection to bang. Brilliant. It has to do a 1D there. I mean, if that's a skull, then it's just an instant 2D on the ball. Well, the 1D on the ball, but still. No, an instant, two, nearly instant two D on the ball. If that's if that's a skill, <laughs> it was amazing, Caleb. Oh, one said he just he said he won in eighty ones. So there you go. <laughs> it was so funny, man. It was that was that was real. That was really fun. <laughs> and I was thinking, I was thinking like, oh, I, I shouldn't risk the witch elf to stop the one turn here. <laughs> and and boy, should I? Boy, was that the correct decision? <laughs> <laughs> I think people, you know, do tend to all overestimate the odds of one turns. Always do sometimes it's really huge, but a lot of the time it's, it's difficult to score. Them. Makes the five, fails the three. Oh, that was probably the right player there at this stage. Anything you can do. Is he finally going to kill and stay, stay dead? Oh, well, he does cast it. Sloth the muck. And it finally fails its regen. It died twice. <laughs> that was <laughs> amazing. I mean, that's not true daily <laughs> at all. One turns happen 100% of the time the opponent rolls well and makes the right moves. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered how well Dog to the Dog rolled, for instance, when he tried his one turn. <laughs> 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 you caught him again! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Gener by generic, do you mean Agility 40, Montel? Oh dear. Another car's absolutely brutal. Yeah. Pretty good. Really good player. Some real tactical nous there from my raffle. <laughs> Makes six cars and wins. Brilliant. Fantastic positional match there. You know. <laughs> good luck putting your players in the right squares where you've got no players to put them in. Tactical banger. <laughs> <laughs> well, congrats, I remember. <laughs> I probably played better than Andrew. Funnily enough, Andrew probably didn't bang hard enough, I think. It was his, as Daedal and Ducky said, like, he'd probably, you know, he'd, there's no point getting the kill stack and then not using it, right? You've got to, you've got to bang and bang and bang and bang. Hope it wins. Hope you're all them sevens and eights. <laughs> but hey, at least in Blood Bowl 3 it's going to be more tactical. Oh no, wait, it's just going to be about massive gang battles because Guard's ridiculously OP now. <laughs> As if Guard wasn't already, you know, too good. Now it just makes fucking Bash Mirrors dice rolling nonsenses you can make six assist fouls and stuff um, well there you go 21 OV bricks, amazingly the dimmy coefficient holds true in a claw palm mirror um, commiserations yeah, yeah. Andre, congratulations I revel um, thank you very much Daedal, been glorious having you in the booth yeah thank you and sorry for not paying attention for the last 20 minutes <laughs> No problem, nobody did. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.